We have transformed College Green into our very own MP's Fat Club. We have the weighing scales, we have the measuring chart, we have a very official looking man with a clipboard and we also have our victims, Connor Burns for the Tories and Mike Gapes for Labour. And as you can see, Connor's just had his uh, height measured onto the scales, Connor. Now, uh, while it is, of course, very amusing to uh, watch our MPs doing this, there is a serious point to this, a campaign to get us all thinking a bit more about how much we weigh. Connor, what's the point in this campaign? Okay. It's a very serious point. One in four adults in the United Kingdom is obese, and a third of all 11-year-olds in this country are obese. We're the fattest country in Europe. It already costs the National Health Service £5 billion a year in terms of dealing with obesity. And this is saying to people, if you recognise you have a problem, there's lots of little things you can do to take responsibility for your own health. You can go for a walk, go for a swim, join a gym, eat a little bit better. Take responsibility for your own health, and it will save the NHS and our country a lot of money in the future. Now, Graham Rosen, who's just uh, measuring Mike Gapes over there, is from the uh, Obesity Man. Management Association, which came up with this idea. It's the My Weight, My Future campaign. Now, uh, just explain to people, how do they measure their BMI? It looks quite complicated. Well, it's basically your, your weight divided by your height. Your weight in, uh, in, in kilos divided by your height in metres squared. It can be a little bit complicated, so it's much easier to just go to the website for the campaign and you can use the calculator there. And um, the, the point of this is, I suppose, to get people actually like looking at how much they weigh because a BMI is not a perfect measure is it? It's not perfect no but but we found yesterday at the launch we had a whole group of MPs from across the political spectrum come along and on the whole most of them were surprised at how high their BMIs were and that's typical of the population as a whole you know obesity just creeps up on you and, a kilo at a time. And so uh, what is Connor Burns's BMI? Is he is he looking good? Or? His BMI is 27.6 which is in the overweight category Ooh, so he just needs to keep an eye on it but he's a big guy so it's yep. not too bad. All right, Connor, off the scales. Come on, Mike, you've, you've been measured over there. Let's get you on the scales now. How, how are you feeling? Fine. <laughs> now, um, you know, you're an MP. MPs have, you know, they have the kind of lifestyle where you have a lot of lunches. There are a lot of uh, events you need to go to where maybe there's a lot of temptation. People out there, they have a lot of temptation too. It's difficult to tell people, you know, you need to be checking on your weight. Absolutely. And I think... Uh, all of us who uh, are, and I think I will come out as obese, and there are millions of people like that, like I am, uh, who have busy lives, and in my case, I don't always eat at regular times. Yep. Uh, I, I think there's always a tendency to Sadly, to, to time's snacks. running out, so we need to get your BMI. So what is Mike's BMI? I'm afraid it's 33.2, so oh. he is in the so obese So you're the loser, category. sadly. So how do you feel about that? Uh, not surprised, uh, but I'm, I'm working on it. I've given up alcohol for January. Connor, you're the winner. There's no winners and losers. If we've reached a few people at home who will now have a look at their BMI and make a few small lifestyle changes to improve their own health, they're the winners. Well, there we go. The uh, loser will have to do a few laps of College Green. But uh, I think I'm just going to uh, step up here and uh, see if I can uh, work out what my BMI is. However, uh, sadly, we're running out of time, so there isn't any time for me to tell you. I'll uh, just have to keep that to myself. <laughs> Gentlemen, thank you very much.